Hello, my name is Sudhashil Ghosh. I am teaching you Tinkercad on YouTube. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to see another experiment with the ultrasonic sensor. But this time, we are going to use an RGB LED. So let us see how it goes. First of all, we will start connecting our circuit. And we will start with the breadboard, bring the breadboard here and we will try to rotate the breadboard as we had done earlier also. Then we will bring in the Arduino and rotate it as we had done before. Now first thing that we can do is of course we can see the ground here and we will connect the ground with the this particular breadboard and here and we will make it beautiful here so we have been able to connect the ground with the particular row here and the entire ground is spread across this row is distributed distributed across this row now our job is to see how we can connect an RGB LED. So what is an RGB LED? Let us try to see what an RGB LED is. So here, if we see, look at this, we will try to zoom in and you see how the RGB LED looks like. So an RGB LED has a red pin a cathode and a blue pin and a green pin. Okay. So that means this RGB LED can have the red color, the blue color and the green color. It can emit these three colors you can see. Now we need to put the RGB LED with the breadboard of course. And please remember that we need to turn this. So we will turn this now. Okay, we have turned this LED. And of course, we cannot fix it here because these are all internally connected. If we connect like this, it will be useless because then all the all the pins will be at the same potential. There will not be any flow of the current. Similarly, we can't put it here. So we are going to put it, put this RGB LED here. Okay. So now we have done that. Now we are seeing that. This is the cathode and therefore this cathode has to be connected with the ground via a resistor. So we are going to use a resistor like this and let us zoom in beforehand. So you see if we have if we see this particular connection here we are going to if we put the resistor like this. It is going to be useless because these are all connected to each other and therefore it will be problematic if we connect the resistor like this it will not be making any difference in the flow of current so our job is to connect the resistor with the possibility of a potential difference and you see that we can connect the resistor like this to the ground this is what we have done this line contains the ground as I saw earlier as we saw earlier and this is the ground pin the wire connected to the ground and the ground is connected to this particular column. Now we are ready to connect our RGB LED to the system which system the Arduino system ok so now let us see the connections. This is the red pin. So we can decide that the red pin will be connected to pin number 3 here. Okay, So we comfortably connect the red pin to pin number 3. Now we have the blue pin. So we comfortably connected to pin number 1. And we have the green pin. We comfortably connected to pin number zero okay so this is d0 this is d1 okay 
and we have connected this particular end red one with pin number 3. So 3, 1 and 0 are the pins which are connected. Now we have the cathode here. We have to connect the cathode to the ground. So we can do this. We can click here and we'll go to the ground. Fine. So our connection of the LED system with the Arduino is completed. The connections are complete now. Now what we have to do is to code. Okay. So how to code? All right. So to code, we need to go to the coding system and we will drop everything into the dustbin beforehand. Okay. All the things are dustbin. Go into the dustbin. Now what we have to do? We have to switch on the turn on the red light. Okay. We will do it one by one. Where is the red pin? The red pin is connected to D3, pin number 3. The red pin is connected to pin number 3. So if we want to switch it on, we have to go here and connect it to pin number 3. There you are. I am saying pin number 3 goes to high. Okay. Let us do that. If we start the simulation here and we see that the red color is glowing. Okay, you can see the red color. Similarly, if you stop the simulation, if we connect to, to pin number one, let us see what happens. Connect to pin number one, we start the simulation, it will give me the blue color. Why? Because it is connected to the blue. We can start it with the, okay, if you connect it to pin number zero, all right, and we start the simulation. Okay. Sorry. We start the simulation here. Pin number zero will it will start showing the green color. So we have been able to show the red color, we have been able to show the blue color, and we have been able to show the green color. Correct? Right? So it is very simple. It is we are going to we have been able to do that. Now, what if we want to first of all show the red color, then we will try to show the blue color and then we will try to show the green color. Suppose we want to do this exercise. Okay. So now what we are going to do is first of all the red color we want to show. So we will do set pin number 3 to high. Now we are expecting that we want to show the blue color now. So blue color is in pin number 1. Okay. No problem. We have blue color is in pin number one. So we are going to duplicate this and we say, okay, so pin number one is high. We just do that and we run the simulation. As soon as we run the simulation, what happens? We do not get the blue color. We neither get the red color. So why is this happening? It is because we did not switch off the red color. We have to first of all switch on the red color, wait for some time, then switch off the red color, then turn on the blue color, wait for some time, then turn off the blue color. So it means that I have to insert some waiting time here. Okay, so we'll put some waiting time here. We'll wait for one second, then we are going to say set pin number three to low okay so then we have switched on the red color then we have switched off the red color we will wait again for some time then we are going to switch on the blue color again we are going to do the same thing okay so duplicate this there you go the blue is switched to pet pin number one and then it is pin number one again okay so we have got three then we have got one and then we can duplicate the same thing again and we can do the zero pin number zero here and pin number zero here and now let us see what has happened now if we start the simulation now what will happen here is first of all the red color is shown then the blue color is shown and then the green color is shown okay so we have understood that if i want to show the red color 
I will have to keep only the red color pin on. The rest have to be switched off, otherwise the colors will mix up. This is what I've understood. So now we'll stop. We'll stop our simulation here for the for the time being. We'll stop our simulation. Now what we want to do is to connect my ultrasonic sensor now to this. Now we are going to change the problem statement. So we'll say ultra. So for this exercise we will use let us for the sake of example for the shortage of pins because we have we have got the shortage of pins let us use the three pin ultrasonic sensor we can also do the same exercise with the four pin one but we are going to do it with the three pin ultrasonic sensor okay fine so because if we want to connect the ultrasonic sensor we need to turn this thing okay so if we zoom in zoom in which means that this one is connected to the ground this one is connected to the 5 volt pin the pin in the arduino board and this is connected to the signal okay so this is the trigger pin and this only is the eco pin so see the difference here is in the earlier one if you see the this particular pin here if you turn this you see the VCC is first one, then the trigger, then the eco and the ground. Okay, this is the configuration in this one. However, if we compare it with the three pin one, it says the ground and then the VCC, or the VCC and the five volt are the same thing, and then there is the signal. Okay, there is only one. So we will remove this now for the time being, and now we are going to connect our ultrasonic sensor to somewhere like here right so it says that this has to be connected to the ground okay and remember you have seen that this exactly is the ground this is the ground one we have connected this with the ground pin okay so at the same time what we are also doing here is we will also try to connect 5 volt the power vcc 5 volt one okay we are going to connect this to this particular row okay so this we'll connect it here we'll try to make this beautiful no problem and then we have connected it here so therefore we can now take two different connections number one from ground here so this is from ground we will take take one from ground here and then we'll take one from the 5 volt terminal here so let us take the 5 volt terminal first we'll take here and we will connect it say for example to this pin okay from here okay so not not this pin it will create some problem here okay so we'll connect to this pin okay fine so we have been able to connect the 5 volt here the 5 volt goes here and then connects to this particular place this particular row from here i will i'm going to take the connection from here to this particular column and now from this particular column we are going to take one particular connection and connect it here okay no problem here so we have been able to connect the 5 volt pin to this particular wire and then through this wire to the 5 volt pin here okay now we have to connect the ground so how do i do that again we'll take one connection from here the wire from here and connect it to this place and then here we'll come here remember that this column is connected to the ground we come here and we'll connect it to the ground pin here so what happens is the ground connection is coming from this particular pin coming here going here and this this particular column is connected to the ground pin as you can see okay so the connections are done for the ground and 5 volt now what about the signal okay so what we are going to do here is we are seeing that this particular column has to be connected to one of the pins so let us connect our signal to the 10th pin okay 
okay so let us connect for the sake of example we'll connect it to the 10th pin and let us see now we are ready to use our ultrasonic sensor so right now as on as of now what has happened is we have our arduino board connected with the breadboard and the breadboard is connected with an rgb1 rgb led then it is connected to a resistor and also we have our uh, you know ultrasonic sensor connected to the breadboard so this particular connection has been established so we are now going to going forward with reading the signal from the ultrasonic sensor then we are going to take three decisions number one if the distance is say 150 if the distance is less than 150 what are we going to do if the distance is less than 150 we will switch on the green led if the distance is less than 100 we will switch on the blue led and if the distance is less than 40 we will switch on the red led so 150 150 maybe we can do it like this or 40 all right 150 if it is less than 150 we are going to switch on the green led okay if the distance is less than 100 we are going to switch on the blue led and if it the distance is less than 50 we are going to switch on the red led so this is what we are going to do okay so let us start our coding part fine so look here we are going to put a place our ultrasonic sensor like this and the arduino board connection already done we are now going to code so we have understood already understood that if we want only the red led on then we have to switch off the other pins if you don't do that the things will get orange okay fine so we have to first of all create a variable as we have done last time we have to create a variable we'll clean our slate now we'll first of all create a variable so we'll our variable is dist okay now we have to read the distance value from our ultrasonic sensor how do i read the distance value go to input and it says read ultrasonic sensor on trigger pin which is basically your signal pin connected to point number 10 so we just say pin number 10 okay remaining settings do not be changed because the ego pin is the same as a trigger pin now okay now once we have read the distance so this we have read the distance now and we are now set distance to this particular reading okay so we now have read the distance and we have set the variable dist to the value of the sensor okay now we have got to check the search check the things okay now let us do it this way first of all do it simply okay so we will do it simpler fine so let us see the comparison is here and the if is here okay so we will take the if then like this we'll take if then okay so if the distance is less than 150 we have to write that distance less than 150 how do i do that come here we'll set distance here if distance less than 150 150 then you need to switch on which led remember we have to switch on the green led remember the green led is connected to pin number zero so that means we have to switch on pin number zero okay so let us switch on pin number zero set pin zero to high okay we have switched on pin number zero right so if it is less than 150 we will switch on pin number zero so if we start the simulation here okay we click here and see if the distance is it is less than 150 actually 
105.3 then if it is more than 150 then it will give you some different color it should give some different color okay so we if the distance is less than 150 we have set the pin 0 to high okay we will stop the simulation now now we have to also code simple things we go to control again we say if then now in this we do this if the distance is less than 100 we will switch on another pin so if it is 100 we will switch on the blue one okay so fine if the distance is less than 100 we will switch on the blue pin okay let us see so we will switch on the blue pin the blue pin is connected to pin number one we are going to set pin one to high and we have to also do the same thing here we have to imply the condition the comparison condition so we are going to say if distance is less than 100 100 so we are going to say switch wind pin the blue pin so the blue pin is connected to pin number one so we say pin number one to high okay no problem here again we are going to do the same thing if the distance is less than 50 we have to switch on the red pin so the red pin is connected to pin number three so therefore let us do that again we'll go to the control we are taking this we are going to compare okay so we have to for comparison we have to take this first go here then we go to distance and if the distance is less than 50 okay we'll have to switch the pin number three on so we'll pin number three on pin number three on okay now if we put the conditioning like this then what happens we'll see okay so if the condition is like this then what happens remember that we haven't switched off any other pins here we have given that example earlier okay so let us now start the simulation we start the simulation here and we see that the green pin is on if we go further oh my god there's some other color which is coming in you see now it has become white in color so which means that there is something wrong in the coding what we are not doing is switching off other leds we are not doing the switching off of other pins so this switching off must be done in order to make it work properly so when we are switching pin 0 to high we have to switch on you know switch all the pin number 1 and pin number 3 to low okay we have to do that if you don't do that the things will not so therefore we are inserting this and we are also inserting this so we are going to switch off the pin 1 and so we are going to put it as low and we are also going to switch on pin 3 as low we do that low okay and then we are also going to do the same thing here so pin number 1 is high so we will have to 0 to low and then again we will have to say 3 to low alright and then we are again going to here so this is pin 1 to low this one is going to be low and then we have to switch 3 1 0 okay so 0 to low now we have created the situation now if we start the simulation now let us see what is going to happen see here as we are going you know beyond 50 it has now it is now 40 so when it is 50 when it is 50 below 50 it is red in color if it is above 50 it is blue in color if it is above 100 it is green in color and what happens otherwise otherwise it's not working you see otherwise it's not working what we have to do therefore we have to switch off all the leds okay so we have to switch off all the leds in that case all right 
so what we have to do we can use another loop here we can use the connection here so we'll say again we'll go to the math and we'll do this comparison we'll put here test and we'll say greater than if the dist is greater than or equal to 150 then you have to switch all the LEDs off okay so let, let us do that and we'll switch off all the LEDs so it's very easier to do that way so let us start the simulation now and let us see what happens if we go off 150 limit go off the limits then the LEDs switch off and if we approach now the green LED is on then the blue LED is on and the red LED is on if you are new to my channel please like share and subscribe if you are an old subscriber please share this video with other people so that they can also learn thank you for attending this session we will stop the simulation now